All right, greetings everyone. Now we're going to build on what we just did. And in the previous section, we identified a total volume to be infused, and that total volume amounted to 2,000 milliliters. So now we're gonna look at something a little bit different and we're gonna say, all right, how do we calculate a volume to be administered over a period of time? So volume over time now. So in this case, we're gonna say, we need to administer this 2,000 milliliters over a 10 minute period of time. In other words, how fast do we need to let this drip into the patient, if you will? How fast is it going to go into the patient if we want to evenly distribute this 2,000 milliliters over a 10 minute period of time? So we're going to do just that. We're gonna say 2,000 milliliters over 10 minutes. We're gonna calculate that and that's gonna give us a total number of milliliters per minute of unit time. All right, so in this case, we're gonna end up with 200 milliliters per minute. All right, so this is gonna be an important role for you in just a little while because um, we're just giving fluid here and I'm not gonna say that it's without uh, risk here, it's just fluid. There's always a risk anytime you put anything into the patient. The idea here is that in order for you to calculate infusion rates for drugs, for example, like Narcan, uh, dextrose, lidocaine, amiodarone, all of these drugs that we give uh, over, a, in, over a period of time, including dopamine, which we're gonna do as a separate, cover as a separate uh, infusion, um, you need to get to this step here. So we started out with total number of milliliters, the total volume that we're gonna give. Now we're gonna say, okay, we were gonna give that volume over a period of time. And in order to do that, we're gonna end up with a milliliters per minute value. So 200 milliliters per minute is what we want to do. All right, so now the next thing we need to do is figure out, okay, well, what does that translate to in terms of the number of drops per minute that I have to administer? So this is gonna be the next step because in order for you to calculate how fast this is, you're gonna to have to relate it and put it into perspective based on the number of drops that are going to come out of your administration set. So for the purposes of the fluid that I'm doing, I'm gonna say that there are 10 drops per ml. All right, so this is our standard 10 drop set, our 10 drops per milliliter set. So this is a macro drip set. All right, so let's take a look how we figure out drops per minute. So we're gonna take this 200 milliliters per minute, and we're gonna say, all right, I somehow need to get this into the patient, and I need to figure out how many drops that needs to be. So the next thing we're gonna do here is through dimensional analysis, we're gonna get rid of our milliliters and we wanna convert that to drops. So we have a conversion and that conversion is this. So there are 10 drops per one milliliter of volume. So we're gonna get rid of our milliliters in this case. And what we're gonna be left with are drops per minute. So we already know that the answer is going to be in drops per minute. Then we're gonna simply calculate out our answer here. So 200 times 10 is gonna give us 2,000 drops per minute. Now, if you can imagine 2,000 drops per minute obviously is an unrealistic number because that means that it's gonna be wide open. That would be like 30 drops per second or something ridiculous. It'd be over 30 drops per second, which is not something you'd be able to calculate in terms of just watching these drops fall. But I want you to be able to go through this process. You're gonna be able to very quickly see, is this something that I need to open and infuse wide open? or is this something that I'm gonna actually need to calculate and pare down a little bit uh, closer to like a KVO rate, just a couple drops uh, every so often. So the answer that we're looking for here, uh, a couple things we've done. We figured out the total volume to administer per minute, that was 200 milliliters per minute. Next thing we did is we said, all right, we wanna convert that to a drops per minute. We did that by multiplying the administration set volume, 10 drops per ml, and we came out with 2,000 drops per minute. So 2,000 drops per minute is how many drops we'd have to administer in order for us to give 2,000 milliliters over a 10 minute period of time. All right, stay tuned for the next example.